Today we're going to be trying a really cool bow making project. This was inspired by Leanne. She bought a bow maker, or had one quite a few years ago, and we were so jealous because she would always make the perfect bows for our wreath. Now Leanne is an expert bow maker, and I, however, am amateur because I've never even made one before, but she's going to be showing me how to do one today without the bow maker. So you can purchase one. Right, it's only about $10, and you can find it at your craft store like Joann's or Michael's, Michael's. Yeah, Hobby Lobby, anything like that. Mm -hmm. um, but since I have Leanne, I don't need one. She's <laughs> going to teach me today how to make a bow. So this is one more thing in our attempt to be more like Martha Stewart. So yes. let's see how it works. So I would buy some ribbon that has wires in the edges. That makes it just stand out better and hold the form. Year after year, you could use the same. If you've tried bow. with ribbon without, then you know it's like always adjusting and trying to get the bow to mm -hmm. be stiff and set up and it never works. Yes, and actually I found after, you know, the next year, it's kind of crinkly. You can actually use a curling iron to kind of to kind of curl it, like not on a high setting, but you know, just really lightly get out all the wrinkles. Good job, yeah, that's a cool well. idea. So uh, what we'll need today is some ribbon and some scissors and wire cutters and some wire to to tie it all in place. Now, uh, I know there's lots of different gauges of wire and I'm not an expert. Um, so, I'm not sure, just any green wire they use for craft. Yeah. Or you can even see, good. they've got um, silver kind as well. Yeah, they just make it, I think they make it in brown and different colors. And right, stuff. so you'll just need one piece of wire, you know, just like about this length. You know, if it's too long, you can always cut it shorter, but if it's too short, you can't base it. So I would <laughs> cut it ahead of time, just Take it off here and then cut, cut this here. I've been kind enough to cut my wire from the already. <laughs> yes. Oh, the beginning. Yes. Um, I cut my ribbon from me too. I did cut the wire. ribbon. I'll, I use these afterwards. Uh, usually, I, I like to leave it on the spool because you don't really know until you get there like how big you, you need the ribbon to be. It's right. a lot easier. But she's going to demonstrate a smaller bow, and I'm going to make a bigger bow for like a wreath. But yours could go on a, like a smaller wreath or even on a Christmas tree. tree. Right. Bows are pretty popular for people to make right. on Christmas tree. So to start out, um, I like to uh, a length to be the end so you'll know that the the end of the bow is gonna hang about that that long. Okay. So you need to pick out just a little bit. Yours is gonna be smaller, so I'm making it a smaller one, so I need to quite as big. So from there we're gonna end measure out how big you want your first loop to be. So mine's going to be kind of big here. Hers is smaller. And you just crink it, crinkle it right there. Okay. Just like this. Got it. And then you take the other part and you just have to watch your spool of ribbon. It just gets kind of crinkled here. And then measure it out here about the same length and crinkle it. Crinkle. Here we go. There you go. And now you're going to do the next loop, which usually you can either say this is going to be the back, so I'm going to just start getting smaller. So you want it to go smaller on the side. Yeah, just it goes back and forth, back and back and forth. There you go. Yep. Okay. Just put it right in there. Okay. There you go. It does get kind of tricky. And then just do the other side to match. You want it to be about the same size. And you can kind of adjust it once you have it made, but it does get to be handful here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And each bow is going to be different how big you want it. Do you want it to be on top though from here or on the back or below? How do you do with, decide with your third one? You know, I just keep going in order. If it's like, if you're crinkling in the back, then just keep going in the back. Okay. So this is going to be the end of mine because I don't have very much left here. Right. Okay. And here, let me just make a couple more loops with mine. You don't have to make it pretty yet, Corey. Do you, I was going to say, do you adjust it now or you adjust it later? Um, I adjust it afterwards. Okay. So I'm going to make a couple more with mine here. And then you just want a little loop in the middle, like this big. Like small, small. Yeah, so just take this here and then just make a tiny Show the cameras, yeah. <laughs> yeah, a tiny loop like this. See how it's a lot smaller than these ones out here. Okay. And then what do I do? Just tighten the back? Nope, just hold it there. Okay. Now you take your wire, if you can find it on the counter. Got it. And then you stick it around your fingers. 
make sure you got that loop so it's what do I do with this loop? Well it's it's on one side so you want to get it around right here. Right in here. Okay. And now so I want, you want to get around and make sure that that middle loop is closed. It'll be off to the side, but that's okay. Okay. We're gonna straighten it to be. Look at how little this this one meant to be though. Well, we can change that, but you <laughs> made it kind of bigger. <laughs> oh, I made the thing bigger than I should have. The bow, yeah, the loops, but it's okay. Okay. It'll still look good. I hope so, Leanne. <laughs> So for me, I'm going to measure down, I want it to be about even. This is looking good. And here, I'm going to just snip the edges of this wire ribbon because I don't want to ruin my scissors. Once you cut wire with your scissors, it's got a notch in it and it doesn't cut evenly after that. So I just cut with the wire cutters the edges of this ribbon and then take my scissors and go across evenly. Which is a good idea because usually I just use my scissors and then they get a little tiny notch. You get annoyed. <laughs> I get annoyed with it. It's professional. So yes, I tied around the wire and then twisted it. Just twisted them together. So there, this will attach to the wreath or anything you're attaching it to. Okay. So you want that around the back side. So not where the loop is, but around the back. So just twist it. So it's on the opposite side of that small loop. Okay. Gotcha. So now is when you make it pretty. Okay. You have it? So now just start spreading out your loops. Good. Some bows may need more help than others. <laughs> <laughs> more help and more loops. You know, if it's bigger, you should. It should be a little bit. Have We're a little all day though. But you like to have a different dimensions. You know, the bigger ones in the back kind of support front. And just you might have to turn some of them like this, so it comes out. And it's still challenged. <laughs> it still looks good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, not as good. <laughs> well, the thing is, is I'm used to it. So when you move these, you kind of want to bubble them out. It looks prettier if they're bubbly. What's this bubble? bubble? It's just like stick in the middle. It kind of yeah, just stays in the middle. This little one stays in the middle, so you can see. It looks prettier bubbly. Do you have any advice if, if you cut the ends too short? If your if your end is too short, see that's why I don't like to use like pre-made. You have to cut this side to match. Too short. <laughs> Well, I mean, it depends what it's going on. You don't necessarily need a long thing unless it's like on. Yeah, that's so true. Needs it. That's true. Or you can even loop it and make it another thing so there's none. I see. That's good. Yeah. You can even loop it, like just make it into another thing here and then tie it in the back. So you want to loop it and just tie your wire around. Yeah, it. yeah. And then it might be good on the Christmas tree just like that. If you're doing like a Christmas Or a present. Tree. You know, they look, do look oh, really nice present. on a present. Saving this, especially Santa, a big present. Santa might bring this on some present. <laughs> Santa might deliver this on one four-legged present. My kids <laughs> might get this year. Ooh. <laughs> but Santa's excited. Santa's worried. <laughs> Santa doesn't know if the four-legged present is going to potty train fast. <laughs> when we're there picking her out, she peed on the rug, and I'm like, um, this is our future. <laughs> yeah. I foresee my future right now. Yeah. Alright, so here's my bow. And I like to add a little touch at the ends. I like to make them kind of slanted. So I just measure, you can either do outwards or inwards. They're both very cute. And again, you just would cut the wires on the edges where you want the slant to go. Oops, there we go. And it's just a big bow. Okay. Oh, I think it looks very good. Especially for your first bow. Bow. I know, I had to use a bow maker <laughs> for years. <laughs> and then I realized well, it's not too hard. Did you buy this did you buy this at Costco or did you buy this at? You know, 
That brand, I would say I probably, probably bought it at a craft store. At a craft store holiday time. Yeah. Um, Costco has some really pretty ribbons. They do. But they sell out fast because like, I put them out Thanksgiving. I know. And then the ribbons sold out. Are you sure that's not Halloween? Yeah. They, oh, actually, they, Halloween. They, they, Costco it's October. Stuff out. It's crazy. And you can't get, you can't even get in Christmas stuff. There you go. It's just kind of slanted. It'd be nice on a door or a wreath. Thanks for visiting with us today. For ideas like this and other ones, please visit our website at likemartha.com. Mm -hmm.